It's about 8 o'clock in the morning here in Austerbeek. And we're going to ride to Utrecht today. We just got our morning tunes pumping, getting ready to ride. You guys ready to go? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> in this video, we're going to show you some amazing bike infrastructure, including feats and Stalin and intelligent traffic lights. Also, stay tuned. At the end of this video, we're giving you a sneak peek with amazing, fun stuff that'll happen in our next video. Just leaving Osterbeek. And it started to rain, but it's not too bad. Right here, we're on a part of the LF route that has separated bike lanes, one for one direction, one for the other direction. It's just gorgeous. About three minutes into our ride, it started coming down, raining a little bit here, have a look. We've got our rain gear on. Doesn't seem to bother the Dutch at all. They continue to bike along. All right, you wanna have a vote? Who says we ride? Woo! Woo! Three, and mama votes? No! Unfortunately, mama has a veto power in this situation, so we'll wait for a few minutes. This is giving it the thumbs up. We're back on the road. Ready, Here's a pro tip for all you kids at home. Always bring lots of spare Ziploc bags because you can do this with it. Protect your GPS phone and uh, not get it all destroyed. Pretty good. Inside this uh, kind of noisy highway for a little while, a little bit of rain. It's actually refreshing. It feels really good on your body to have the rain. And now we're going to be switching onto an LF route, so it's going to get a lot better in a second here. We got off the highway again onto another, this time a dirt path, but it's pretty firm. Rain's pretty much stopped. Now we're doing a little bit of canal riding. Always sweet. The lovely canal there. I don't know, there's something kind of comforting and nice about riding beside water. The, the rain has stopped and we're stopping for lunch. And this nice man was just stopped here and he's got his uh, snacks all set up. They're not for us, unfortunately. But we oh, have maybe, our... Maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, we, we can have deal. <laughs> and uh, can you tell us a little about why you're here today? Yeah, I'm here because we are uh, busy uh, doing a team building training. The team is now uh, into the woods for some uh, exercises. Uh, they are coming back here. And the team building is for this uh, company Super Buddy. It's a startup. And we deliver groceries uh, within one hour. We try to do it within one hour. Uh, by bike. Nice. And uh, that's really good. It's a very nice company. We are growing very big. That's why we're doing a team building now with our uh, leads. And so our you're already, already delivering by bicycle yeah, groceries? Yeah, we do. We, we are uh, cool. already uh, busy in, in two cities and we are opening next week or within two weeks in, in Rotterdam. In Rotterdam? What yeah. two cities are you in now? We are in Zwolle in the north. Yeah, we know we were there last year. You were there? Yes. Okay, Beautiful. How nice. Yeah. Okay, how nice. And we are in Utrecht. Utrecht. And you are g going today to Utrecht, you told me. Yeah, we're very excited about that. Yeah, yeah, nice. And. Uh Very sophisticated signal lights at these. They sense how much traffic there is. My guess is this will just change the green now. See, it goes to green for us. Because not many cars waiting the other way and a few bicycles. The little Vacht sign changes. It appeared, maybe we'll dry off a bit. Only 23K to go. It feels like a cushy ride now after 290Ks. Closer, about 12k to Utrecht, and so we're 
coming upon smaller towns or suburbs, outskirts more regularly, so it'll be a lot more urban riding, which is a little bit slower. Utrecht signal light on the outskirts showing red is probably not going to change for us this time and give us a slow pause, I think. As it's there, it sensed us. You can see the Wacht sign there. It's going to go slowly because there's all those cars to pass. Cars are passing. Very slow, you see. Must continue waiting. Wacht means wait. It's going to get all those cars out. And now it's going to let us go. There we go, green. You can see the box sign there. Now it's going to go quickly because there's not much traffic. As soon as that car out, let's just go now. confession to make. Uh, our family does not make our living off these cycling videos. We all have other jobs. My other job is doing music for kids and now I'm gonna have to do some of that business so I'm gonna have to make a little transformation. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like to ride my bike. Bicycle, bicycle. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like to ride my bike. Heading into Utrecht downtown. We're very excited to see the city in our Civilian clothes. Okay, first the impressions of biking in Utrecht is there's A, there's a lot of bikes, and B, they're moving along quickly. C, uh, some of them seem to be obeying the lights and others don't. Uh, gonna pay attention. Diagonal street crossing for bikes only. I don't understand the uh, Dutch very well. We just want to look around. Mother, help me. How much? How much? How many time you? Ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. ramps you can ride around in these.
cases have these little grooves that you put your bike on. You can see that guy, he's, oh, he's not actually using it. He's a professional. She's gonna use them. Keeps your bike all lined up right. We can look upstairs, it could be. of entrances uh, I've counted it, that go up to the surface uh, which means that all these bikes can be got in and out of here quickly because I'm sure this fills up in the morning so the activity in the morning must be insane it's the third floor we're gonna have a look out here you can really get an idea here scale of this operation. Lisa, what's your quick first impressions of cycling in Utrecht? I think it's one of the best cities to bike in in the whole world. It certainly rivals Copenhagen. Okay. all the food and before we ate the food we were all treating each other really badly we were all, all we were saying things like oh no uh, you know this isn't the right you way to go something. Yeah. why did you do that you're going too fast Mike slow down I can't keep up with you and now we've eaten the food and we're all like oh, baby, I need it. <laughs> this is such a nice trip it's now well past rush hour and uh, it started raining here a lot but the cycling has continued at this corner where we've been having our dinner and we've noticed that people just kind of pull out umbrellas, like this lady. And there's also, we noticed that there's some umbrellas that are designed for cycling. Uh, they're kind of shorter at the front, so they're not gonna get as much wind resistance, and you can see out from underneath them better. A basket on the front and a really 